Greetings everybody, this is Sabin Dimitrov aka Adins for the Astro Wolf and it is an absolute pleasure to have you guys here for my next video. So I wanted to, to show you guys something awesome we can get. So I was actually able to get enough pieces to get the Beetlejuice. And the Beetlejuice has a critical wither, total resistance weaken effect, and total damage reduction. And uh, and for this event, guys, so re remember uh, that so this is called artifact crafting, and what the artifact crafting event is is that it's pretty much the mysteries are the mysterious artifact crafting master has come to your planet. Gather materials and find him to craft artifacts now. Um, pretty much what you can do is take three to four uh, materials or blueprints or, or uh, whatever is is required to craft the central item, and then you can craft it. So, for instance, guys, uh, uh, this will take one fabrication. It will take one phantom. It will take one overlord. And it will take one fearless. Mm. Sorry. So instead of actually having to use my valuable, um, my valuable, um, what's that term? Blueprints? We can just do this. So we are going to craft this. Yes. And as you guys can see, it has been crafted. And the really funny part, guys, is that we can actually make another one of these if we, if we really wanted to. No, I don't think we have, let's see. I don't think we have enough super equipment chests to do that. And I'll show you guys why. So we got all this done. Look, look at that beautiful Beetlejuice, guys. That's go, 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 going to make my Rogers all the more annoying to deal with. But, uh... Yeah, we only have uh, 681, and we already had to use 600. So we most likely, we definitely would not have to, would not be able to do that. So we'd have to use 612, let's see, 612, 14. We, 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 we would need, uh, um... 1400 to be able to make another fabric to make another uh, special piece of equipment but as you guys can see we actually got some yum yums from the oracle and that really helped us out a lot and now we are doing really good and that also means that that uh, these Beetlejuice bad boys can actually be upgraded a bit now, for me, I don't think I have too much, uh... Here we are, we build juice? Yeah. Yeah, you only have this, so we're just gonna, gonna, gonna do this a couple of times and just get this upgraded a bit. Because, yeah, like... Look at that, guys. We There you go, see? We're already getting this all the way to, like, level 15. Oh, almost, guys. And then, just use this, get this bad boy all the way up, just keep working that up, keep working it, keep working it. Alright, so we are at level 22 now, guys, which is really good. So that is awesome stuff. Now, ooh, we can actually get, get this to, to level 30 pretty darn quick. So let us go ahead and do that. So... Where are you? I went past them. So, we got these, do that. And then we go down here, do that. And we go down here and we do this, uh, this sir, this. And we do this maybe one more time. And then what we do is that we do this, we do upgrade, we go all the way down here to our beautiful bad boys. Shabam, 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 shabam. Sir. There we go. Now it is already at level 30. Total damage reduction, guys, 24%. That's really good. Now, we want to wait 
until we can get that to level 40 before we swap it out on Rogers. But yeah, this is going to make our make our Rogers all the more annoying to deal with. Because he's going to be running Critical Wither. And that's going to be a big, big bonus on helping us like with sur survivability. So we just got an amazing piece of a piece of equipment, and uh, yeah, like uh, this is actually going to uh, going to help us be able to just really kick butt in the in the in the long in the the long run. So I'm very very happy about that. Now the reason why I'm not thinking I'm thinking that we need to get another Beetlejuice is because first of all we don't have three defense commanders, and really all we really need is uh, Rogers and Orochi to have that. Like I said, guys, I want to eventually have almost complete clones of Rogers and Orochi because uh, Rogers, no, Orochi's um, equipment can work the same on Rogers, but Rogers doesn't always need that, that, that skills trigger rate, but it does help him out a lot. But having, but having that penetration is what's really going to help Rogers do his damage because that's going to allow his uh, origins to actually cut through the enemy. And like I said, guys, with the equipment that we are trying to get, uh, let's see, weapon. Ooh, we can actually make some stuff. Ooh, that's delicious. Uh, what we can do is that we can either get the, uh, get the fortress, which is delicious, or we can get the Aldebaran, which is the one we really need we have we have enough to make two aldebarons and yet we don't have we don't have enough of these stupid aldebaron blueprints it's poopy big old load of poopies but whatever but yeah critical wither is 30 percent a base stats total health points is 40 percent base stats and penetration is four percent has base stats so that's really good stuff. And, uh, like, getting Broken Fortress is going to be really, really cool to get. And that's what, what, what I really want, want to get. So we just have to wait, guys. But this event has been super helpful and has allowed us to do a lot of damage to the enemy. By the way, speaking of damage, how are we doing our last battles? Unfortunately, we are losing almost all our battles, but we are still, you know, punishing the enemy, though, so that's good. Yeah, elves are way overused. I don't like them. But if you manage to actually get some really good stuff on elf and the other commanders, you can actually... No, not elf. Uh, but if you, if you manage to get, like, a really heavy-hitting commander or someone who can outlast an elf you'll be able to uh, win. But uh, yeah, um, this event has been the most profitable event. Like It's been a wonderful event. And uh, great news, guys. I'm getting my, uh, my uh, phone plan and internet plan uh, bundled. So instead of paying 50 and 64 each month, I'll be paying like 75 for both of them shoved together, including uh, the paying off my phone, which might make it go up to like 90, but that's still saving money. So that's really, really good. I'm going to be getting the uh, Galaxy S22 Ultra, the newest one that just came out. I've never had like the brand newest, newest Ultra Mega Super Awesome phone before. So this will definitely be interesting, guys. Uh, it's something that I'm very excited for. I'll be saving money even while, you know, paying off the phone plan. So that makes me very excited, guys. Uh, and hopefully I will have a much better service because, uh, yeah, phone service is really bad right now, guys. So I think it's just about time for me to call it quits on uh, on, my per on my current phone network and get onto uh, a new phone. Unfortunately, the, this new service I'm using is not doesn't support One Pluses, so I'm sadly gonna have to hop out a hop out of the One Plus. But you know, I haven't used uh, Galaxies in like forever, and uh, well, it's been years, years upon years of me like not using Galaxies, so it's gonna feel weird going back to a Galaxy. But hey, you know. It's going to work out. We're going to have some really, really cool stuff set up. So I'm happy about that. 
And yeah, you know, I'm hoping that this new Galaxy phone will have a lot of, you know, oomph to it. You know, this is the, the best phone they could possibly have at this new service. So, you know, I told them I need a phone that has power, battery life, an amazing camera and stuff. Because like I said, guys, I record a lot of videos and I need a phone that is amazing. And, you know, they had the awesome Galaxy Z Fold Ultra, which had the 7.9 inch screen. But first of all, that thing is like $1,700. And second of all, way too expensive. And third of all, ugh, you know? But, you know, uh, the S22 Ultra, there, there's a special sale going on where you can save 450 if you get a new line. So instead of paying 1200 over the course of 24 months, it'll only be about 700 um, or 750 about the same price as my... Uh, one plus eight. I think I think my my one plus eight was like six was like six sixty seven. So considering I'm gonna be uh getting like a super phone for almost that same price, that's phenomenal. I'm really really happy about that. And uh, even still paying off that phone, I'll still be saving money for my old plan. So it can only go up from here. And uh, they 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 are gonna 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 try try to get me on that special on a special uh, special savings program so that way we can actually uh, make stuff work out. So I'm very very happy about that. So yeah, um, you guys are gonna be seeing some new stuff popping up shortly, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to to go to my new phone. I'm sad that I'm gonna be leaving the One Plus Eight behind because the One Plus Eight is such a fantastic phone. It's a strong phone. It's never let me down. It's it does great. Ever since it got that new upgrade to Android 12, it's been very very useful. It's just an overall a fantastic phone. So I'm sad that I'm gonna to have to put it on the back burner for a while, but I'm definitely keeping it for the foreseeable future in case worse ever comes to worse. But yeah, I'm very very happy with how well the uh, how well the S22 is gonna be, and I can still record videos on my old phone I, on the on the uh, One Plus Eight. It's just I won't be able to use it as a phone phone. But don't worry, guys. You know I can still use it to play games. I can still use it to you know record videos. I can still use my One Plus Eight to do its stuff. It's going to be still a good phone. Um, but yeah, like uh, my new main phone is going to be a beautiful like jade green uh, S twenty two Ultra, and yeah, that's going to be very very fun. Uh, they did have Motorola's, but those weren't on par and. Uh, they had a special only pay $45 and get a uh, Google Pixel 6a, but that is nowhere near the amount of power and stuff that I need for a properly working phone. Like I said, guys, I do a lot of multitasking on my phones, so I need something that has a lot of power. But yeah, that's uh, Oh, and great news, guys. I passed my driver's test with a 94. The only things that I messed up on was accidentally not putting on my emergency brake when, you know, pretending to park my car on a hill, which I usually always do, but my brain kind of farted out on that, and then parallel parking. I, it, for me, it was kind of like a seven-point turn instead of a three-point turn, but that's okay, you know. Uh, the, the, the driver instructor was very, very kind and, you know, understood, you know, that I was trying to play it careful and, you know, getting a 94 out of 100 on... One of the toughest tests in the country is phenomenal, and I am so happy about that. Especially considering I only have one eye, you know, that's really, really good. And on top of that, it's one eye in between all my surgeries with silicone oil inside my eye and my vision being distorted. And I managed to pass that test with flying colors. So, by God's wonderful grace, I get to keep my, keep my awesome driver's license with no restrictions, and stuff is good. So I'm very, very happy with that. And uh, that means uh, there should be no more trouble. And now that I, now that I know how easy the driver's test is, woohoo, that's really freaking cool. I'm so happy that the driver's test went so well. And yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, driver instructor was an absolute sweetheart. She was super, super sweet, very personable and uh, understanding. And yeah, you know, she, she complimented me on... Uh, being extra cautious and taking measures to make my stuff, uh, to make uh, driving good. I have a panoramic mirror 
like a, like a really wide angle mirror in my car, which allows me to see much wider than a regular car mirror. And oh my gosh, it helps me so, so much. And you know, when she saw that, she's like, wow, that's a really cool mirror. I love it. <laughs> But yeah, no, she was a she was just, she was a sweetheart, a very 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 sweet lady, and we we had a fun conversation while driving and doing the test. It was great. The test went fantastic, flawless, and uh, yeah, it was great. So I'm very very happy with that. Everything is going well today. Got myself a giant deli sandwich. Everything's going good, guys. So I'm really really happy about that. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so, and then, of course, guys, this uh, event here has been the most, has been extremely profitable. We just got ourselves a Beetlejuice without having to wait for those stupid, uh, knee singies. Uh, now, mind you, we do have 81 Beetlejuice, uh, uh, blueprints, but, you know what? That's fine. Now, it's always good to, like, you know, craft equipment when you can, because you never know what new weird thing that the game developers are going to add in the game. So you always want to try to stockpile stuff that, uh, if you can, and if it doesn't put you out too much. Like, eventually, if you have enough, um... Uh, eventually, if you have all the equipment you possibly ever need for your commanders, then just start stockpiling different pieces of equipment, because why not? That way, when the developers add new stuff, you're already prepared. But, uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, like, uh, like I said, it's gonna be, be some amazing stuff that was coming up, and, uh, you know, like I said, guys, you know, I'm ready for this awesome event to come over so I can get that new arc coding. Because my arc is going to look amazing. But, uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy with happy with like how well things are going for this event. I'm very, very happy that uh, everything is looking good. And, uh, yeah, I'm just really, really happy that, you know, did the center call. Oh, sure, I can do that for you. Boop, beep. Uh, boop. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. Hey guys, comma, center call is active, period. Go ahead and jump on if you want to get to the center of the map. Hi. And jump in. You're welcome, my friend. Shabam. All right. I'm, you know, one of the nice things that Android 12 pops up, and actually the OnePlus 8 is actually going to get Android 13 too, which is really, really cool as well. So I'm excited for that. But Android uh, 13 is going to be epic. Yay. Boop, boop, beep, boop, beep. Boop, beep, boop, boop. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. Yeah, so uh, Android 13 is going to be fun, guys, because uh, first of all, it's lucky number 13. Second of all, I was born on uh, Friday the 13th. And let me tell you, it's always fun, you know, when Friday the 13th comes up, because I, I get to tell people, I get to watch all the pathetic mortals around me suffer. <laughs> and uh, people are just like, wow. <laughs> you haven't slept yet? Same. Been awake for... Hours and hours. <sighs> yeah, I've I had to wake up early this morning. Like I had to wake up at like eight thirty, and yet I actually woke up at around four and couldn't fall back asleep. So yeah, I've been awake for an exceptionally long time, guys. And uh, well, I had some sushi. I'm finishing up my salad. I have some. Delicious private selection branded uh, Primo pa uh, pastures, strawberries, and cream uh, milk. Really freaking tasty. Really, 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 really tasty. But yeah, so uh, 
I'm happy. Aw, oh, did we lose our capital? Man, we lost our capitals again. Are you kidding me? Man, you know, we had them for like only a couple days now that I've been gone again. Yay. Anyway, whatever. Wait. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's poopy. But yeah, guys, uh... Yeah, so overall, guys, as things are looking good, I'm very happy about that. Uh, let's see what happened here. So we win this one, no problem. Oh, wow, look at that. We actually survived that hit. Look at that. Bam. Holy butt pickles. Man, this sucks. I mean, at least uh, they can't break the lines of two of my soldiers, but yeesh. That stupid Orochi. We would have won if we could have beat that stupid Orochi. Curse her, you curse you, you poopy head. You poopy. You big old poop. Uh, you, yeah, you poop. Kasi is exclusive. What are you using? Alright, whatever. But, uh, yeah, um... We are currently placed 51. And we have 19 days, 11 hours, 42 minutes left. So that's pretty darn good. And for Star Sea Conquest, we have our soldiers underway to go kick some butt and smash people. We are currently 260 in this sea in this weekend. And for the season, we are currently 281, which is not bad considering it could be a lot worse. But uh, yeah, stuff's looking good. And like I said, guys, this event might be going on for like months like it did last time. That's dumb. But yeah, so uh, yeah, there's a lot, lot, a lot of really cool stuff that's coming up. And uh, like I said, guys, you know, once we get the uh, the Beetlejuice for a Roach, no, for Rogers, we're gonna be set. Like uh, so, we're gonna, we're, like I said, Beetlejuice and then the Antares. Like we need to get the Antares. That's what's gonna help us out a lot. And uh. We can get two Antares thingies and get ourselves all set with that. Take a quick do that. And now we are back at, we're at 49. So yeah, um, I'm very happy that we were able to get the Beetlejuice. And we are about halfway to gain the, getting the Antares. So if a gang bounty event pops up or something new pops up, we can probably uh, be able to take advantage of that. The time is currently 1419 guys and uh well I gotta eat my dinner I mean eat my lunch and then uh go ahead and take my shower and then get myself all nice and clean. Uh and yeah, we're we're gonna 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 be all set. We're gonna have some awesome stuff underway. So yeah, it's it's gonna be all good up good in here. All good in here. But yeah, so very, very happy with how well things are going right now, guys. You know, life feels good again. I don't feel like the world's completely against me this time. I mean, I don't know, it's just, uh, it's been a rough year. Uh, you know, having to deal with all these surgeries and stuff and, you know, uh, vision problems and all that crap. But, yeah, guys, you know, we're getting underway, you know, we're, we're getting the stuff taken care of, you know. Uh, my vision is getting better. Um... It's just a slow and arduous and annoying process, but stuff. My vision's getting better. I can still drive. I, you know, stuff is working out. So we just gotta, just gotta freaking work this out. Ooh, delicious. But uh, yeah, overall, guys, uh, we're kicking butt. We're doing good, and uh, yeah, like uh, Arc of War is quickly coming along, and. I'm looking forward to getting to Advanced Airship uh, Hyperspace Level 9 because we're going to be able to kick mega amounts of butt. So that's going to be awesome. Anyway, guys, uh, this has been Sabin Dimitrov, a.k.a. A Dense for the Astro Wolf. It has been an absolute pleasure having you guys here for my video. Uh, and, yeah, I just want to thank you guys for being the awesome subscribers that you guys are. 
You guys stay awesome and always remember, God bless.